right, so we're moving now your play um, exercise onto the retrieve part for your senior dog wards. So when we're looking at retrieve, um, we'll look at each dog's type of retrieve individually. For a, a proper retrieve, what we're looking at isn't anything too formal like in obedience, we don't need them to stay and then you throw it and then they come back into heel at the end. We're just looking that whatever item you're using is suitable for your dog. So I've got a small version of a Kong bone here for Merlin because he's only little, um, but it could be anything that your dog happens to like to, to pick up. Uh, it could be rolled up socks, it could be a bottle, something as long as it's safe and it's the right size for your dog and that's fine. Um, what you want to do is introduce it to your dog first, so if it's something new or something I haven't used before, I haven't done it for a while, just spend a little bit of time working with them. So the other last couple of videos we looked at um, getting a bit of interest using the nose touch and the second video was looking at a bit more play and teasing them to get them interested. When we're looking at the retrieve side of things, we want them to be really interested in what the item is and then to go out to it, pick it up, bring it back and ideally either drop it into your hand or you can take it from your dog. That would look really, really good if we can get that. Um, if your dog tends to bring it back but stops a few foot in front of you and you need to go and get the toy um, or the item, then that's something we can look at it progressing for you so your dog brings it that little bit closer, okay? So just to give you a little bit of an idea, joined us now. Now my terriers are a bit unusual in that they don't play for play's sake, they play because they get a treat at the end of it. Um, so I'm treating Merlin for doing that but I didn't have a treat in my hand at the time. Hi Taylor! Um, and that's absolutely fine if that's how you want to do it with your dogs. You just need to show you haven't got the treat as you get your dogs back. You just want the retrieve first and then you can treat at the end. So there, this is a toy I don't very often use with Merlin. So as you can see he went out to it, it was kind of went not that bothered about it. Um, but I'll give it a quick go. However, this is something that Taylor does like. So Taylor's just woken up, hence the reason why it looks disheveled. Taylor, touch. Should I touch? Yes, ready. You can touch. Yes, ready. Get it then. Go get it, T. Pick it up. Cup. Ta. Good boy. And he's very happy, as you can see, to hold on to something like this. Man is not as keen, although he might be now that Taylor's here but this is one that would be really good for Taylor. So for Taylor, I could go straight into a bit of a retrieve and play. With Merlin, I'd spend a bit more time getting him interested. Are you ready to touch? Yes, good boy. Can you hold? Yes, good boy. And getting it interesting for him. Whereas for Taylor, you tell are you ready? Are you ready for this? Yes, are you down? Stop. Yes, go get it. It's gone in the grate. Can you get it? Where's it gone? Go find it. In the crate, mate. It's there. Find it. Hold it. Taylor, hold. I threw it here. My throne is rubbish. Throw it. Hold it. Hold it. Ta. Good boy. That's a very good boy. So the difference with the two dogs is that Taylor does enjoy this item. Taylor, come. Come here. I know Merlin's there, but come here. Good boy. Sit like that. Sit. Taylor. Good boy. Hold. Hang on. Ta. Good boy. So Taylor's happy to hold on to an item. Merlin wouldn't be so happy to hold this. Okay, can you hold? Hang on, hold. Ta Good boy, he'll spit it out. So he needs a bit more work. Taylor's really happy with this. Choose your item nice and wisely. What we're looking for for the actual retrieve part for your awards is that your dog will be interested in the item like this, say our Taylor's interested, and that they'll go out and get it, bring it back to you, and either drop it in your hand or let you take it. So to show you one more time, ready Taylor? Get it then, mate. Good boy, it's a very good lad, very nice, okay, so if you're not sure, go for the previous two, two tutorials, one which was looking at, at touch and interaction, the second one was looking more at the play side of things, and now move on to actual retrieves, with a little bit of distance there, and your dog's bringing it to you, you're not walking out and taking it from them, okay, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how your dogs do with their retrieves, um, and have some fun.